Greetings my YouTube friends, I'm here, hopefully briefly, this is take two, because the last one ended up to be 25 minutes and I still wasn't finished, so I thought, no, nope, I'm starting again. So this is take two. I've returned to a Dilio Mia Cara pocket as my wallet, not necessarily my planner, because I've got another system for that, but I, I think I found a really good... Uh, workable solution to, to getting back to Agilio as my wallet and actually using uh, the rings as well. So this is a, uh, a dark brown Miyakara. I've had this pocket Miyakara. I've had this maybe 2014. I can't be certain, but it's actually had quite a bit of use. It's very shiny. It's it yeah it has had a lot of use and it's just beautiful but I haven't used it for probably the last maybe three three years three and a half years and it just seems such a waste to have it sitting uh, in the cupboard. I have been wanting a particular Julio wallet um, for some time uh, in a particular color and it just never seems to, to come back into stock so hence why I'm doing this so that I can get my my Julio wallet back again um, and when that becomes available I, I will still buy it because I've been wanting it for a time for quite some time but um but for the moment this this suffices and and who knows I might stick with it so in the front section this wonderful pocket has all my uh, coins it also has a shopping trolley key that I got off eBay so this this key takes uh, so instead of putting a coin in the trolley, um, this works in Coles, Woolworths, Aldi and Costco. So yeah, I don't have to worry about having a coin. There's nothing worse than looking in your purse and seeing that you don't have a dollar or two dollar coin. And then you've got to go into wherever it is, get change and come back out, put money. Yeah, this just saves all that because I'm chronic at that. I've also got a little lens cleaner because I have these stashed everywhere. And then I can never find them. So I have a, a Julio ballpoint pen that has a gel a refill inside, and I love it to write with. Really do. It's just it's just gorgeous. And I put the clasp inside so that it doesn't dent um, either here or here, so it fits there snugly. Of course, in the back section is my cash, and usually that will just um, that will just sit there, and all my receipts just go in there, so that when I come home, they literally come straight back out because I don't want to overload this. This is a Midori uh, pad of things to do. The paper's just divine. It's just gorgeous kind of it's a touchy-feely kind of paper so I put the ollie clip here so that I can just um, have my checklist when I'm out and about yesterday for instance I had a lot of errands to run and they're in different parts of the city so I needed to plan my route um, as to what what I you know what I needed to do in what order basically and, and how to actually get there because a couple of places would be odd to get to from another place and I hadn't really done it before so so I used one of these as a bit of a checklist to to plan the order I was going so that's what the ollie clips for inside I just have my most used debit cards and my corporate card and I just printed this Starbucks um, image off the computer uh, because I love Starbucks and that just makes me smile and makes me just want to go back to Starbucks for a coffee but I don't drink a lot of coffee um, gives me migraine actually so I but I love it and um, I do have it when I'm out I just make sure that I have a latte or something that is quite watered down and not strong um, so well, that's my story anyway. Uh, I've put in this main section, all the sections are divided by these uh, clear covers and I've just got Planner Society 
um, labels. So my first, oh, and this is a postcard that I got in my stationery selection box last month. I love the artwork. They're just gorgeous artworks on these postcards. So I had to put one in there. So now we get to the uh, planner proper. So start off with a, a yearly overview. Isn't it incredible she can fit a whole year on a pocket size page? Extraordinary. She also has the, um, the week numbers. Not that I use those, but I know it's very helpful for some. Um, I'm heavily involved with uh, a kindergarten and they certainly work on week numbers. So it does come into its own for that. So my first section is really meal planning. Um, I've never been great at meal planning. I tend to buy up and bring it all home, intending to do this, that and the other thing and then don't do this, that and the other thing. So I have food wastage, which is not, not kosher today in this day and age. Um, so I wanted to find a way to minimize my food wastage I have gone from a family, cooking and shopping from a family of six to just me. It's a real shock to the system. And I just cannot get the hang of cooking for one. I mean, it's, it's impossible. So I'm sort of careful what I, what I cook so that I can freeze or, you know, it'll be okay in a couple of days. I'm not usually the sort of person who likes leftovers. So for me to eat, so I cooked on Monday night, I cooked spaghetti bolognese because it was Christian's last night in Australia. And that's his favorite, favorite meal. So I cooked up this, this batch of spaghetti bolognese. His sister came over, we had to eat because he was running late, he ate, and I still had about three containers left. <laughs> so I've been eating spaghetti bolognese, and that's not my favorite thing to do. I like my meals different every day, and yeah, so my son, he could eat spaghetti bolognese breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if you let him, so it um, doesn't bother him. But anyway, I'm trying to get a little better at uh, economizing uh, with my shopping, um to minimize food wastage essentially so yeah i'll see how it goes uh, i've been sick too and and people have arrived with with containers that i've had to freeze so i've got a lot of food in my fridge and there's just me so i've got a few pages of the menu groceries because that you know yeah, the weeks fly don't they my next section is my to-do list this is just a piece of vellum that I've printed on. I love the the pen, pencils and the brushes and textures and yeah. So this is just my running to-do list. Um, so I've, I've done a couple of those things. I set this book up, what, three days ago? Two, three days ago. So it's only really still, pardon me, it's only really still quite new. Um, but already I'm finding I really like it. Um, it's it's so good, actually, to be back in rings. And I never thought I would say that. But I'm just having fun printing and setting up. And there's something about it that sort of gives you a bit of gives me a bit of a buzz, and making it better. My next section is mail to send. Oh, I don't think I mentioned actually that all these inserts come from Peanuts Planner Company. But I've I've listed that below. I will list that below. She's got some really different ones that that intrigued me and it was probably the main reason I went back to this and it never really occurred to me till I was watching a video last week and thought hmm and it stayed with me so I thought I had to act on it and I'm so glad I did so this section is mail to send I'm not always the best when it comes to the post office I have a dreadful post office. I mean, it's a good post office, but it's dreadful to get to at certain times of the day and when you get there there's a queue that's going out the door and I'm sorry, I don't have almost an hour to waste going to the post office. So I don't, or I get somebody else to. <laughs> if it's work related, I delegate because I really do not like going to the post office. But now with one son living interstate, another son living overseas, I really have to get on top of this. Plus I really want to send some happy mail 
because I want to get some happy mail. <laughs> no, not that's not true. I want to be able. I love sending people surprises. So, um, you know, and I've I've had a couple of people that I've been wanting to send something to for ages, just never have. So, mail to send will keep me on the ball. This also, I figured would be great when. As with Christian living overseas, I want to send him care packages every three months. Um, but when I think of things, um, so for instance, before he left, he said, oh, mum, can you get from time to time um, my shapes, which are little sort of like biscuits, little snack biscuits. And they've been his favourite since he was a teenager and, uh, you know, middle high school or something, middle school. And... Um, so, and it never would have occurred to me that they were Aussie and he wouldn't be able to get them anywhere else. But anyway, so yeah, I'll send him Tim Tams and Vegemite and, and his shapes and Maltesers. Um, yeah, I think something like that. So, and I thought of something the other day that would be really good coming up to Christmas, New Year, uh, to send him that's very Aussie and will put a smile on his face. So, yeah. My next section is finance. I'm not good with this either, actually. Uh, I never know how much is in my bank account or what's on my corporate card. And I kind of have a rough idea, but quite often when I get online and I just go, oh, where did all that money go? So I thought, oh, let's just have a bit of an exercise and see what I'm spending. If I know I've got to write it here, like yesterday I went on a bit of a spendy, oh, actually it wasn't a spendy, spend, um, a spending spree because they were things that I needed. So I've got the tailor, I needed some alterations, I needed the post office. My gosh, it's expensive to post overseas. Uh, I had to pick up some things at Coles. I had to, uh, and some skincare. That's really all that is. So uh, anyway, no, Spotlight's not there. Oh, Spotlight was the day before. Oh yeah, no it was. So that's my spending tracker. Then I have um, online orders and to buy. So quite often I will think I must get some of that or I'll run out of it soon. So um, I'll just list it there because quite often I'll get to the supermarket and I'll think, <gasps> What's on that list that's still sitting in the kitchen? Um, yeah, so I'd rather have my my list of things that I need to get, whether it be groceries or other things, with me all the time. So, yeah. I mean, my kids say, Mum, just take a photograph. I go, but I don't think to even to do that. <laughs> so I need my planner. So they're my, um, yeah, and online orders, yeah. These... I put a couple in here. I was looking for something last night and found these cute owl bookmarks in Daphne's diary. So I cut them out and thought, I'm putting those in my my pocket. So that's that section. Now the next section is personal. And I have a daily tracker. And the reason I put this here is because it, I don't have stickers to put in my Jibun Techo and my work planner is digital. I was, I have got a digital sticker that I really like, um, but in the end I decided I didn't want to be sitting in a meeting and somebody look over to see if I'd, you know, taken my medications or not spent any money or done my skincare. I mean, <laughs> it's just a bit personal. So, so that's my daily tracker. The next section is a... Uh, TV series tracker because there's a couple of things that I, I'm not a big TV watcher. I haven't watched TV all week actually, but when I do, I binge and I'll binge for a little while till I get sick of it and then, or I get busy. And when I go back to it, maybe the next month or something, I don't know where I'm up to. And there's one particular series I'm watching on Prime Video that I think twice now I've gone back and it's taken me ages to figure out where I was up to or I'd start watching something. I've seen this before, I think. And yeah, so this is a good way of tracking 
those that aren't on Netflix um, that don't come up just to, you know, continue watching or something like that. And, and I do have a few of those. The next one is a weight log. I've never been aware my entire life. I haven't worried about what I weigh. I just weigh what I weigh. But for medical reasons, I'm, I'm having to get weighed a bit more regularly. And last month or the month before, I hopped, well, I hopped on the scales and I saw it and I nearly fell over. Even when I was pregnant with twins, I wasn't this heavy. So <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe I do need to look at my weight. Um, but look, I know what my problem is and it's... And it's really snacking. I snack far too much. I haven't been eating properly because it's just me. So I can't be bothered cooking. So I'll just have um, something else. Or, you know. So I'm really needing to sort of look at that. And uh, I've been doing intermittent fasting, not as a weight loss uh, per se, but more for health reasons. So... I just thought it would be curious to see, having started intermittent fasting, uh, and I'm doing 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating, so um, that's manageable for me. I don't actually find it too too difficult at all. Um, so I just it would be interesting to track my weight just to sort of see, you know, how how it actually does affect it because I think possibly what will happen is that I will end up plateauing, uh, and that. I think for me that can be considered my ideal way. I'm on a lot of steroids, so some of my weight is is put there for medic, you know, because of medication. So there's nothing I can do about that, and I don't really want to. I just want to feel healthier or feel a little lighter. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Oh, the last section in this one is doctor's visits. Now I've got a health a health planner, so I don't really need this, but I do because um, I'm going to use this for all the peripheral kind of medical uh, things. So it will be, um, you know, the podiatrist or it'll be the nutritionist or it'll be the exercise physio or it might be the dentist or the optometrist, those kind of people, psychologist. Uh, I want to just, you know, make a brief note and, and whatever's relevant can sort of go in the health planner. But... The health plan I really want to keep for my specialists and hospital and, um, you know, the, the tests and things that I've got to, oh, I always have to have. So I really need to, yeah, keep a, a running tally because I just forget. I get busy with work and, oh, gosh, I haven't done that. My next section, I've got just got some sticky notes because I really like the marble effect on that sticky note and the colour actually went with that. So... Just had to have it. My next section is a, a pull out yearly calendar. I don't really need a calendar in here. Uh, so this is my birthday list. Uh, I'm not always the best with birthdays either. And even two of my kids have partners. One's had her partner for like six years and I still don't know when his birthday is. And I'm always caught on the hop at last minute. So, but he's so difficult to shop for when I'm, I'll buy something for him when I see it and it'll be months before. So I've always got something. It's not, um, that's not the problem. But I just like to be a bit more on top of that. Then I've got add to planner. Because my professional planner is digital, it syncs with my phone, which is super, super handy uh, because I don't need to take my iPad with me. So it minimizes weight in my bag. But I can't add to the planner when I'm out and about. So that's where this little beauty comes in very very handy my last section is just scratch paper I've just I'm gonna I've got a scad a heap of filofax paper that I'm just going to use up here and these are just random notes things that I might come across or whatever so last thing is um, this little card I had these little cards that I bought at Dimex I think uh, a few years ago and there are these little mice that remind me of Brambley Hedge, my youngest. That was her um, childhood, you know, crockery and cutlery and books and things like that. All my kids have had a theme uh, and hers was Brambley Hedge. And um, 
Um, I just loved it. You know, these, these cards made me smile. I bought the cards just for the pictures. So I had to put this one in there because of my weight thing. I thought that'll just make me smile. But I've also got a couple of friends who um, are very, you know, conscious about, <laughs> about weight at the moment. So I'll just uh, make sure that they see it and give them a compliment every now and again to tell them they're definitely thinner. Uh, a world map. Who in the Filofax world, Planner world, Julio world doesn't have heaps of these? Uh, I think I've got about, in the pocket size, I found about four. So I thought, oh, okay. So I put one back in here because my number, number one boy is now living all the way over here and I'm all the way down here so yeah anyway he took actually a really good route to get there which I was really quite impressed with so and I was speaking to a colleague today his wife is actually a, a Boston native and um um so he's lived there for for a time uh, obviously when he met her and uh, and I said to him that, you know, Christian went via Hawaii. He said, oh, that's the way I do it all the time because there's a direct flight from Hawaii to Boston. So, yeah, it was a really smart way to go, actually. So, yeah, and I think this is handy too. Um, just to while away the time because I'm one of those nerdy people who loves geography and I love history and... And I like tri um, trivia, maybe not, but I do sometimes those competitions thinking I'm better at world geography than I really am. When it comes to Africa and South America, I'm hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I've got no idea where anything is. So I want to get a little bit more, yeah, up to date with all of that. Sorry about that. That's a bit random, but anyway. Uh, in the back, I've just got a couple of pockets. Um, so here's another one of those... Um, one of those uh, our bookmarks I've got some business cards I've got our oh, little um, card with a you know a, um, a nice thing on it uh, to give away I've got some stamps and then right in the back I have the other cards that I don't need as frequently so my driver's license you know my my supermarket uh, rewards cards, my public transport cards, RACV, my ballet subscription, Costco, working with children. So they're mainly the ones that I wouldn't would use. All the other store cards I just keep in an app on my phone um, and I know that they're there. So, and then I think I've just got spare. Oh no, this is my footy fixtures. <laughs> I hid it in the back because we are doing abysmal this year. It's almost embarrassing we're not doing very well. But anyway, so there you have it. There is my pocket uh, Mia Cara and this has gone to 25 minutes too probably. So sorry it's so long and I've rambled. But anyway, I hope you've um, I hope you've yeah got something out of that. And um, yeah, any questions just put them below and I will catch you next time. So have a great day and bye for now.